were willing to do to survive. And I am willing to do anything. Hey there, fans of The Serpent Queen. If you just finished season two, you're probably asking yourself, what now? Will there be a season three? Is it even necessary? Well, buckle up, because we're diving deep into the blood-soaked finale, where Catherine de Medici is on the verge of losing everything and gaining everything at the same time. Season two's finale, All Saints Day, gave us everything. Bloodshed, betrayal, and of course, Catherine's relentless quest to keep the peace, which, well, ended in anything but peace. You felt it, right? The tension, the stakes. We saw King Charles's fate sealed with every bloody cough. Catherine, our serpent queen, was left contemplating the future of the throne, and let's be real, her true motives. Her chilling line, long live the king, though there's always a spare, made it clear Catherine is now fully embracing her role as the iron-fisted ruler. But here's the big question, is a third season necessary? Absolutely. Let's break it down. Catherine's transformation isn't complete. Season two saw her struggle to maintain peace, but season three? That's where the real power play begins. Imagine Catherine fully unleashing her serpent-like cunning. And don't forget, there's still Anju, ready to smile his way to the throne if Charles doesn't survive. Now, here's the good news. Stars has already created a page for the Serpent Queen season three. Does that mean it's official? Not quite, but it's a strong signal that the network is seriously considering it. And we know why, viewership numbers, baby. The finale delivered in a major way, and if fans keep watching, season three is almost guaranteed. Let's be real, season three has so much potential. We've seen Catherine go from a naive outsider in season one to a ruler trying to hold a kingdom together in season two. But season three? Oh, that's when she could fully embrace her title as the Serpent Queen, ruling with no mercy. And with Anju in the wings, there's so much more drama to come. So, is season three necessary? Heck yes. There's so much story left to tell, from Catherine's full transformation to the rise of Anju, and possibly the downfall of the monarchy as we know it. Stick around, subscribe, and let's keep our fingers crossed for an official renewal. And let me know, what do you want to see in season three? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.